What's good everybody, Chris here again, Chris Goes Outdoors. Just want to give you a quick heads up, this is not really a hiking video. This is uh, kind of a tech side of hiking, if you will. I'm planning on hiking the Appalachian Trail, and I have down here, you can see, I have a Sony RX100 Mark III, and there seems to be a fairly large issue as far as transferring XAVCS files from the Sony cameras to an iPhone or iPad device. And I spent a couple days trying to figure out what exactly was going on. So I tried the card reader, the card reader I could not get to recognize the XAVCS files, but I did find a solution with the lightning to USB camera adapter. And I'm going to show you exactly what I do to get the files from the Sony onto my iPhone. This is the iPhone 6 Plus, and it is currently rocking version 10.2 of iOS. My Sony RX100 Mark III is currently rocking version 1.00 of the Sony software. So first off, I'm just going to format my card just so you can see that there's nothing else on there. So there we go, formatting the card. So you're going to need the lightning to USB camera adapter. You're gonna need a micro to USB cable to go from the camera to this adapter. And of course your iPhone and Sony camera. There we go, format it away, format complete. So just to show you, we are recording XAVCS, aspect ratio 3.2, dual record is off. So I'm just gonna hit the record button. So we're recording this video, blah, 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 video, video. We need what, I don't know, 15 seconds to make it nice. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we have our video recorded. I'll hit play, play it right there. All right, so you can see the video is recorded all nice and pretty. So I'll pause that. I'm gonna turn it off quick just to get rid of this. Power back on, and I'm gonna go to menu. So in menu, I'm gonna scroll up to the settings up here. So I'm going to go to the USB connection settings. And this is what I found will transfer the files over. You wanna set your USB connection to MTP which I believe stands for Media Transfer Protocol. You do not want it on mass storage. It will not see the files in mass storage. And secondly, you wanna turn off USB power supply. If you leave that on, what happens, you connect these two cables together, connect them to these two, and after about 10 seconds, the iPhone thinks that it has to charge the Sony camera. An error will pop up that says um, something like the device requires more power or something something and it'll cancel the connection. So you have to make sure to turn USB power supply off. So going to connect these two cables. I'll show you quick on my photos too. I deleted everything in there. So pop the cable, USB side right in here. All right. So I'm gonna plug this into the bottom of the iPhone. All right, so we are plugged in. I will power the camera on and you can see it's connecting. And you can see right there, the import window for the iPhone popped up. You can hit right there, check, start the import and that will import the video that we just recorded in XAVCS format. All right, so there we go, it's all imported. We will go to my photos and I'll show you that it will play no problem with audio, mind you. So we're recording this video, blah, 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 video, video. We need what, I don't know, 15 seconds to make it nice. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. All right, so you can see the video does transfer no problem. Uh, you can edit it in iMovie also, no problem. I'm not exactly sure where the issue lays as far as the card reader not working. The card reader will not work with these settings or any settings that I was trying. Uh, no matter what I tried, I could not get it to see the XAVCS files. So with that said, 
give this a test. I cannot tell you if this will work for every Sony camera. I would assume if it has the media transfer protocol setting for connection mode and the ability to turn the power supply from USB off, I would assume that it would work but I have not been able to test it. I hope this is helpful for one of you out there. I know I searched extensively trying to figure out what was going on with this, and I'm glad that I found a solution that will work for me. Any questions, I'll try to answer them if I can. That'll do it, and thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you enjoyed, and you enjoy hiking videos and such, feel free to uh, drop this video a like, comment, consider subscribing to the channel, check out some of my other videos. We'll catch you later. Have a good one.